Hey, come on, hey, come back, everyone. I'm Ray, and today we are going to continue chapter two of Elysian Realm. And yes, yes, right now we are not in chapter two, we are in chapter one, but I am doing all of the conversation stuff thingies every now and then. And I was gonna do them alone, but um, <laughs> do you see this constellation? I couldn't not do that with you guys. So. Get comfy and let's first get started with freaking Kalpas and Möbius and oh my god about Möbius. Let's go. Come on, tell me something. Möbius, you're I've missed your voice. I haven't heard him in a while. <laughs> ah, I forgot the point. Now you're the not the odd one out anymore? Now you're just like us. He's not even saying we are like you, but you're like us. <laughs> I mean, my best guess right now is in some kind of alien. <laughs> I don't know, but if Mubius doesn't know... She has to know, right? Oh. He's talking about us! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. oh, that's interesting. お前は諦めないさ。何しろお前の本性はそこにある。俺たちみんな自分の目で見たからな。Okay. We'll keep that in mind. Oh my god, they are so interesting. I literally can not. Both of them. Both of them are way too interesting. I think I can still go and skip this. Yes, I can. <laughs> Yes, that's the thing I want. Just skipping everything I don't have to do. <laughs> and claiming everything I can. So, who are we going to talk to? Uh, is it just you two here? Okay, we'll talk to Elysia and Klein then. For oh my god, I cannot with this staircase. Elysia and Klein though, that's interesting. Huh, how are they to each other? About Klein. Hi. Oh. I mean, I'm also small, so. <laughs> Ellie, we know that you, that that you want something. <laughs> Actually, now I have to re uh, to to think about uh, what we read last time in the in the remembrance vessels because Ellie because this is kind of repeating Ellie was visiting Klein and told her that Mubius wants something from her to get Klein out of the lab so if I would be Klein I mean sh Klein probably doesn't know but if I would be Klein and know that I wouldn't trust her would she do that? <笑>だって思わず私と話したくなるのは僕当たり前のことだからね。ああ、キャラクターズサムシンエルズリーリー。それに私たち仲良しだったでしょ私が実験室を出るたびに必ずあなたのほっぺたをつまんでた。I see. <笑> I hope you didn't call Klein a thing, though. Uh, was that the real Klein, then? Like, was Ellie maybe kind of close to the real Klein? But obviously not the elf Klein, because we don't know when elf Klein was created. I mean, after Klein was probably dead, I think. But still. 
あなたの話だと永結に対する信仰こそが夜ムガンドをつなぎ止める本当の力ってことよねちょっと面白いんだけど、the but also is he in a state that we can call alive or is he just somewhere else so let's say who I and Kevin for now ここに足を踏み入れる前から彼らの存在を知ってたの当然だ伝説の13人の英雄元々は成婚計画を実現するための保険だった Ah, oh, it's so sad that they are all now, at least in the eyes of World Serpent, related to Project Stigma, when they weren't. Like, the project was just for a few, basically, right? And I still love that Kevin took over for Sue, because he doesn't want Sue to be like that. Gosh, my heart. <laughs> より理解しやすいかもしれないな。成婚計画こそが夜ムンガンドの競技。しかし競技だけあっても信者は集まる。ああ、that's so sad. I, I just can't, it's again, it's so tragic because Kevin was a normal boy in love, turned into a soldier, turned into an incredible weapon, turned into, oh, you have to save humanity now. And then, oh yeah, just be the god for the for this organization. Sure. Oh, it's so sad. True, it sounds like that. Wait. They are not foreshadowing that Fuba could take over, right? Huh. Hmm. <laughs> そしたら名前も変わってるかもな。例えばフェニックスとか。ああ。I am so sad. She said Phoenix and they translated it with bird. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so sad. But honestly, is that a thing? Like is that from an event? Or is it possible that we could see such a bubble universe in the future in the event? Because that's freaking cool. But also, World Bird would be funny. But also, Mobius created it. That's why it's World Serpent, right? I just can't. With all the rebirth and reborn things we had about her, I. Until I know how she died, I can't really believe that she is truly dead. That makes sense, right? I don't know. It's just. Mobius. Mobius seemed to just not die. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think it's May's humor right now. Yeah, I don't 
用意周到な執行者に見えるわそれがハイヘビの求めるものだ、うん、彼の言葉を借りるなら Like is grey serpent kind of what what's left of Mobius's mind? But that doesn't really make any sense because Grey Serpent is nothing like what Mobius was. So what's Grey Serpent? Even if Mobius created Grey Serpent. I don't even know how I came to that conclusion. But let's say she created him. What for? As enforcers of Project Stigma, it would make sense because we learned last time that she started Project Stigmata. Or had the idea or whatever. So it makes sense. But also, ah. Oh. もし自分の信仰に必然的な自信があるのなら熱狂したりしない。お前が見た奴らはちょうど成婚計画の最も忠実な支持者だ。それぞれ違う目的を持ってるが、みんな同じ渇望を心に秘めてる。うん。あなた
I mean, honestly, World Serpent? S serpent. Wasn't it? Anyway. <laughs> That's not true. Maybe <laughs> see. It doesn't work. And true, that's the difference. I still want to know what they are doing and or maybe even thinking about what she's doing here. むしろあなた。自分で作った組織なのに、今そのメンバーたちは別の人を損守だと呼んでる。彼の意思を唯一の信仰と協情だと思って、メビウス、あなたが今どんな気持ちなのか、私は知りたいわ。私の気持ち。
would Möbius had would have wanted to do Project Stigmata then in their era already? And May was just like, okay, no, we'll do it in the last last option we have. Hmm. Möbius. Wait, wait, what do you mean? No, May, you can't say that. I'm already paranoid. Something feels wrong, Möbius, Project Stigma. But did she just lie to us or are we missing some key information? Huh. No, don't do that to me. Don't, don't do this. May, share your thoughts. I'm literally in your head. Thank you. <laughs> but she did die in the previous era, no? Uh, wait. <laughs> well, I, I don't remember. Did Mobius tell her that she is alive? That, that Mobius is still alive? And that's why she's thinking that? Because for me that doesn't make any sense. Because either she is dead completely or she is in some kind of different state. And both versions would not allow her to do that herself. So did May just come to the conclusion that this is not the real Mobius? Or, or, or what's it? I mean, maybe. Maybe that's it. Maybe it just confused me because I was... One step ahead? Can I even say that I was one step ahead? I'm not sure. <laughs> I always think I'm multiple steps behind, so it feels wrong to say I'm a step ahead. <laughs> About Klein. Ooh, we're talking to Klein and Ellie again. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if Ellie really liked Klein or had a good relationship with her or something. <laughs> but I'm interested. <laughs> I'm very interested. Mobius would surely work. Hmm. Hmm. Did Ellie want to say, I thought for such an important meta, Möbius would surely either talk to her or maybe implement her memories or something, maybe? And Klein said the doctor wouldn't mind something like that. Probably because Möbius herself went through at least one rebirth. I have no idea. So, does, does Klein kind of say that Möbius wouldn't mind another kind of Klein, even if it's not the original one? I don't know. Right, because she named her even Klein. That, so, huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Now that's information. Oh. You're going to do what now? I wonder if that had a reason though. Like, I don't think I know why Klein died. I mean, it could just be some Honka eruption. It could just be as simple as that. So, could it be that Möbius didn't want Klein to have her memories? Thus, she, crea she created her without any memories? But still made her Klein, basically? Hmm. Yeah, and I still wonder how close Ellie was to Klein, because she seems to care, but also 
That in itself is sus, because Klein is surely not the only one who died <laughs> and was close to Ellie. Mm. Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> At least for now. Wait, what exactly? That she knows? The heck? <laughs> there are so much more questions. They are not answering anything. I just I just want answers. Why, why, why am I never getting answers? Am I really asking that? I don't mean it, I think. <laughs> so, wait. I see something there, though. Ah, uh, we have to talk to Ellie and Raven first. Oh my god, Sue, my beloved. Oh, and Klein. Oh, that's interesting. Oh my god, Sue, my beloved. I will be back very soon. As soon as I talk to this, this, this cutie but sassy over here. Hi. What are you two talking about? About... Oh my god, about Mantis? Oh, please go on. Hi, May. Wait for you. Okay, why is her hi though iconic though? What, though iconic? That iconic though. <laughs> it's so iconic, my mind stops functioning. Right? She stands right before you, yes. Raven is shorter than May. <laughs> I know that's not the point here, but oh, it's probably her shoes, right? Raven has this murderous high heels okay yeah okay that makes sense but also true i don't think i've recorded it but in chapter one i had you know conversations and i talked to ellie no i talked to someone else i think i don't remember but it was about how ellie rarely shows up in front of other world serpent agents who came here so it's interesting that she is now right here and maybe they have a conversation. So, ha, wild. What? See, that's so weird to me. Because they said explicitly that she hasn't really talked to many world serpent agents. Hmm. <laughs> You're a liar. I haven't met all your friends. I haven't met Grisio. I haven't met the other boy that, uh, who I don't know the name yet. I haven't met Aponia. I haven't met Pardo. So that's a lie. I wouldn't mind it though, because I'm very curious. <laughs> Good, that's very reassuring. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Oh my god. True. Wait, so it was even more important in that one scene where May and Raven were at the beach and there was a sunset and Raven took her cape off. Or her hood off. Off the cape. So was that kind of also canon for she just keeps it off now? She has kind of opened up? Oh my god, that is such incredible writing. You're really going to leave? I wanted to see you talk. Ah. I really wanted him to talk. <laughs> what do you know about her? 
どうしたの何でもない彼女に関する記録を読んだことはあるが古の楽園で彼女に会ったことはないんだ。Okay, but why can we not read every record? <laughs> can you please tell me what you know? 資料に記載された戦果だけを見るに、もっと威厳のある人だと思ったが、New couple forming? <laughs> まさか花のような少女だったとは。I'm kidding. その言い方、彼女と気が合うと思うわ。Yeah, maybe. 話を戻すけど、英傑全員に会っていないの Oh, I want to know who she met. そんなこと。できるやつなんていないだろう。No one has. I have the feeling we will. I mean, at least in the third chapter. I don't think we'll meet the others in chapter two, but in chapter three, right? <gasps> that's. Oh my god, that's even more incredible. ハイヘビの話によると、今まで多くても六人。Huh. もしくは七人ぐらいだとか。Okay. まさかお前、全員と会ったのか ?Not yet. まだよ。<laughs> けどそれも時間の問題だと思うわ。Same, but I want to know why May thinks it's just a matter of time. <laughs> それもそうだな。お前は私たちとは違う。六七人。あなたはどうだったの ？And who？ 私はもっと話にならないな。Wait. 黄金、刹那、旧姓、無限。その四人だけだ。I'm bad at remembering. That's Eden, Sakura. Uh, is the deliverance Kevin? I think the deliverance is Kevin. I don't think it's Kalbas. And Infinity must be Mobius, right? I I'm just bad at remembering things, but that's interesting. Huh. That's Kalbas. Huh. <laughs> no, Raven! Do you know how lucky you are to meet him? Honestly, maybe you're not lucky if you meet him. But I want to meet him. I wouldn't mind. Um. <laughs> you didn't just. May. 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 Look at me. Look at me. Don't. <laughs> She's so lucky to meet all of them. But also, I get it. I get it. I'm just a simp, I know. And she is not, so maybe that's good for her. But also. <gasps> Hi, Sue. Hi. Sumanai. <sighs> Do you also feel like this wave of, of, of calming, soothing relaxation every time Sue is there? I don't know, Oh, wait, that's a good question. I'm worried all of a sudden. Wait, wait, was it not a Honkai eruption that killed Klein? Could it have been something else? Or is Sue sorry because he couldn't save her? Ah. Oh. One word, or actually two sentences, and already so many questions. Sue, can you, can you step away for a second with me and, and, and tell me all about it? P -p Please, I promise I won't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone. It's just us two. There's, there's no one else listening. Oh. Hmm, so, she, so you probably had to choose, right? Ah, uh, I don't think I know about that whole situation. But ah, uh, I hate that. I don't want Sue to, to, to feel like this. But it's so, it's so Sue. It's so <laughs> Sue. Come <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> no. 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 Oh my god, of course you're talking about that. Not elaborating and just let me go again. They love doing that. Like just to drop some information on us and then not elaborate. I have the feeling that's that's just that's Honkai in a nutshell. Why do I have to go right, left, right, left, right, left? 
Ooh, I know. You guys know each other. So, what are you talking about? About Raven? <gasps> the other two are so friendly with each other and then there's just me. Don't, don't put me in the same spot as you two. <laughs> <laughs> You're still hanging out here, though. <laughs> oh, I mean, if that's completely true, that's so smart. That's so smart. <laughs> Just stay here, then. Mei, don't tell her to leave, please. It's kind of charming, but don't. <laughs> okay, why is this a girls group that I didn't know I needed? That's so adorable. <laughs> we have the cold one. Sakura here kind of as the sweet... or No, actually, I mean Raven is kind of the sweet outgoing one. And Sakura is just like, I don't know, kind to everyone. Why do they have kind of the perfect dynamic? Yeah. I mean, same. Here in the Elysian realm, nothing is light-hearted. <laughs> you know why we have hands, right? To hold Sakura, to pet Sakura, to hug Sakura. To take care of Sakura. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now that I know kind of Sakura's whole story, I mean, I don't know if I know all of the parts of her story, but now that I know kind of the big picture, I feel so sad every time she talks about the past. <laughs> Uh, especially that she doesn't know. I hope she will never know. I hope she will never learn what happened with her sister. May don't you dare tell her if you ever find out. もし我らが事故で戦死しなければ当時の妹の状況をもっと知ることができたのじゃが。ああ。they want to make us cry. They really want to make us cry, right? I mean, to be fair though, she wasn't alone. Sakura was with her. So, I mean, I guess she had someone by her. Actually, no. Nah, it's worse. It's way worse. I mean, technically she died alone in a cell because those... Frickin' moth members killed her. Yes, technically she was still the Herrscher after that, but I don't know how much of that then was still Rin. So, yes, in the very, very last moment Sakura was with her. But in her human death, she was alone. Oh my god, that makes everything worse. Why did I start thinking about that? Does Raven know? If Raven knows, no one tell her. Ever. We, we have to protect her. Oh gosh. Okay, this makes me think that both of them know. <laughs> I mean, maybe they do. Oh, protect Sakura at all costs. Please, we need to protect her. Yeah, if we ignore the 
the final days. I don't know if she was locked up there for weeks or days or less. But if we ignore that part, I'm sure she had a good life with Sakura. And thanks to Sakura. Sakura, God damn it! all those S sounds. <sighs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> let's never talk about that ever again. Like, let's just, let's just forget it, you know? Rin was never a Hersha. I don't know what you're talking about. Rin lived her completely normal life. Until humanity was wiped out, which is sad enough. But she, she was completely normal. Sakura protected her. Always. Everything's fine. There is no Hersha Rin in Passing <laughs> ah, <laughs> About a grey serpent, right? Let's talk about something else. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. I was completely in my feels and then you hit me with that? <sighs> She's killing me. I am though. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, after her first impression, she was fine. She was nice. Of course, she's talking about experiments, but that's because she's interested in it. She's not hiding it. And she's also not forcing me. And she just takes everything May says and is like, okay, I will take that knowledge at least. She isn't half that bad. <laughs> she has to stop. She literally has to stop. Someone has to stop her. But also, you are a mad scientist. I know a few mad scientists who would get along with you. And I know a few mad scientists who wouldn't get along with you. What are you um <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? Um Anatada Sanokini not the Kureba Anata no Kyomi no Aru Adaikara Naka of Kamedu Kododa te de Kirukara Someone has to stop her. She she is too powerful. She she <laughs> Oh my goodness. May. Why can't she switch from being so cute and dangerous to being straight out dangerous so quickly? But also, you're kind of talking to us a lot in the last few days. So, do you have too much time on your hands? Is that it? Are you bored? <laughs>今まで確かにそう思ってたわ。わざと隠そうとしても一人の人間と彼女の作ったものとは共通するところがある。けど、あなたは少なくとも性格に関しては。<laughs> Yeah, for real. Like, she created Klein. Klein is nothing like Möbius. And she created Grey Serpent. Who, like I think I said before, is nothing like Möbius. That's interesting. Because it is true. Like, even when writing or something. Like, even when you write about a character or whatever... The author almost all the time brings in some elements that they are very familiar with, which is usually something either from their life or from their character or whatever. And I mean, for Möbius, we could say that Grey Serpent shares her, her ideals, maybe. But we don't know about the ideals, really. But at least the goal of Project Sigma he shares. And Klein... Maybe Klein is working so hard because that's what Möbius always did. I don't know, that those are really just suspicions. 
と一緒にお花見でもしてきたのよ<笑>ハイヘビのことで彼の傲慢さと冷酷さは置いておくとしてほとんどの場合において彼は紳士的だと言えるわ。What? He is? Have we ever got to know him like this? I think we only talked to him. We didn't talk to him much. Was he a gentle, gentle, gentleman? I'm sorry, if I think about Grey Serpent, gentleman is probably the last thing that I will think of. But, but, but okay, now we know what Smay's type is. <laughs> Why is that kind of cute though? Like, kind of like a motherly figure talking about her son. Oh my god, mate, maybe this is so interesting. Huh. I mean, she did create him. Ooh. What? <laughs> don't ever tell him that. I mean, I don't even remember how he's like, but I don't think I ever hated him. So, don't tell him that. That would be really cruel, okay? But also, what kind of new technology? All of a sudden, I can sympathize with Grey Serpent. <laughs> oh my god. That is cruel, but also she created it and for her it was just some experiment, huh? What the heck? How smart is she that she can do something, fail at what she initially wanted to do, but create something entirely new? What? We actually need her in the current era to work with our other scientists. Obviously, she would have to change some ideas then. Ideas? Ideas? Like, humanity must remain human. But also, that would be so interesting. Now I really want Möbius to meet Tesla and Einstein. And they talk about science stuff. Ooh. Wait. Grey Serpent is a cyborg, right? That means he was human once, right? Wait, please tell me that I'm wrong because oh my god. Oh my god, I don't want to think about what Möbius did if he really was a human. Okay, hopefully moving on. <laughs> We're back to being scared by her. <laughs>その醜い霊目から生きようとする意志を生きるための光を感じた。それは今まで人類の中で見たことのない言葉で表現できない美しさよ。だから彼にチャンスを与えることにした。生きるチャンスを。彼が自分の力で脱皮して命に新しい形を作ることができるか私は見てみたかった楽しみにしていたわうん so does that kind of mean that she created the very first cyborg? or was that a thing before but she just took it on a completely whole other level because 80% of his organic structure was corrupted. Um, scared but also highly impressed. <laughs> Honestly, I have the feeling 
that Genshin's The Doctor, Dottore, is extremely taking after Mobius. Character wise. Extremely. Why am I only now making that connection? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so basically it really was alive. But the thing is, she's calling it it the whole time. That's why I was just 10 seconds ago like, wait, was he human before? Because I, I'm not wrong, right? We, we said that he's a cyborg and that means he was human. I mean, unless I'm confusing stuff right now. But I don't think I am. Huh. May, are you scared yet? Or are you still indifferent? Because I'm scared, but also... She is so intriguing. <laughs> I think she views it in a different way. I think Mubis' brain just functions so incredibly different from most people's. I think that's why we think she doesn't care. While in fact she cares in her own way, maybe. Ooh. Ooh, she didn't just say that. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, is she saying that because her mother died after her birth? Or is it from something else? Huh. Huh. Oh, she is just so fascinating. I still don't have her and that is so annoying. I want movie is so bad. I love her character and this oh my god. Okay, you know what? Let's talk more about Mobius because we need more information about her. <laughs> Why are you the only one who can read the files? We want files too! <laughs> Honestly, just give me all the files that World Serpent has. I would read them. I don't care how long they are. Oh. That's the one. Okay. My point still stands though. I want to have all the files from all the hashes. But yeah, I remember that. <clears throat> really? So was she created after that too? Huh. So maybe Sue couldn't save Klein because of that? I mean, because of that Hasha? So Klein died, maybe? Maybe Understandably so. That's what I think. Wait, because of what? Because uh, you weren't there back then? Or because Mobius did thorough research on the 12th Tasha? Because, because we still have this weird dynamic of that people don't want to tell almost Mobius that this is not the real Klein? So does that mean that Mobius really, really cared for Klein and kind of doesn't want to know? Or that the Sim doesn't know that this is not the real Klein? Um, that that changed Mobius. I don't know. Either that or Mobius doesn't want anyone to know that she did research, but ah, don't talk in riddles. Provoking her? Eh? Yeah, huh? Huh. So it's because of that. She did her best. How, how did her research end in a failure? Oh. 
Oh, it's good that it failed then. <laughs> I shouldn't let her know that. So that's what she researched? Oh my god. Okay, kind of, um, let's hope that that, that, that movie is, is not alive anymore. <laughs> because if she had all of those years to research all of that stuff and try to figure it out, I would be scared that she at this point would be close to figuring out how that is possible, which would be scary. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> But that's why I want to know more, because she seems to be like that from from birth, basically. And even her birth was weird. So what is Mervius? Like, you can't tell me that she's an alien child, right? Like, sh surely her mother did not... You know... I mean... Probably some kind of weird experiment, right? And they maybe used something alien? I don't even know. Honestly, I, I only have very few options to think about right now. And that, that are aliens and, and, and Honkai. And that's basically all I have. <laughs> yeah... Let's hope she never told anyone else. She probably did, though. I think she talked to Mei about it, actually. Maybe. Uh, I don't like that question because I'm very... I'm very technical. I'm like, technically you're not, but that doesn't mean I treat you differently. You know, that that's kind of how I work. Like, it doesn't matter to me, but technically you're not because it, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say anything wrong or something that comes off wrong but I'm just like I don't really care if you are or not <laughs> now that's a question I want me to answer because that's 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 something that's really freaking interesting are you human? Would you consider yourself human? I mean, technically. Honestly, for her, it's, it's... I can't even say. I mean, I just explained that I'm very technically in all of that, but... Technically, she was born a human. I would still call her a human in some way, I guess. Even though she was kind of... I would probably rather call it something... <laughs> along Mervius lines of reborn reborn as a her, her hasha or whatever I don't even know if that makes any sense I don't <laughs> Mervius and everyone just fried my brain I think mm. it's very difficult to say I mean many of them are to be fair <laughs> I mean, I... I think it's interesting that Klein cares so much about how Möbius views everything and that not everyone misunderstands her. Because, I mean, I think she does care about humanity. But for her, it's more like humans can evolve and are still humans. So for her, maybe she would even consider May a human, but like an, an, an evolved human or something. Hmm, maybe. I don't even know. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Ooh, okay, that was freaking... Okay, that, that was probably the best possible... Oh my god, I hate that I cannot stand right next to her. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Come on. Okay, okay, you know what? That, that's good enough. That was freaking interesting. And I'm extremely curious about that whole debate about, I mean, what Mer what, what Klein just said, what is a human? Would you consider May a human or not? And would you consider the mantises a human or not? I'm very, very, very curious here because 
I don't think there is really a right or wrong in this debate, but it's really more opinions. And I mean, I'm always very curious. So I hope I uh, can read everything about it. And also, I hope I see you guys next time. Bye.